Hey guys, so I'm just kind of chilling on the floor right now behind my window because I haven't gotten like an actual um, setup to make videos, like to actually film tutorials. You know, I want to have like a softbox light and things like that. And my boyfriend has a nicer camera than me, so I'm going to probably film on there. Anyways, I kind of, um, I wanted to make a video just to, I need my diaper. Okay, I wanted to make a video just to kind of share with you guys, like, products that I've been loving lately. I don't want it to be, like, a, like a favorites video because I'm going to film a January favorites. I have a whole bunch of video lines lined up to film, a bunch of tutorials, like, you know, Valentine's makeup and things like that. Just so many things that I've been, like, looking into. I saw, um... Lester Lux making a video and she was like I saw it and I was just like that's way too expensive you know I'm no way I'm gonna spend my money on that so I bought it and <laughs> my boyfriend was like that's you and I was like yeah I know anyways so this is basically um this ratchet ass video I'm sorry just gonna be like products that I've discovered in the past couple months to show you guys like why I like them, and these are kind of like ride or die products for me, like as of right now. Makeup favorites and stuff is constantly changing, like constantly reorganizing my drawers to, you know, and I always have like a little makeup bag I carry with me of like my favorite products, and like no one touches makeup bag type of thing, and I'm constantly cleaning that out and just rearranging things because they change a lot. But as of right now, this is what I am into. Okay. So, for Christmas, Tony, Tostito Burrito, got me, Tony is my boyfriend, I know you guys are, like, not updated at all, and I'm really sorry. Okay, got me some, um, Morphe brushes, but these are my favorites that I got, and Morphe M501, this brush right here, and basically what I use this brush for is, is just to highlight. You could technically, um, it's really, really soft and tapered. It's kind of like um, a skinnier version of like the e.l.f. under eye setting brush or whatever that one is that I've used in previous tutorials. And so that one's very stiff. This one is like phenomenally like, I'm just going to add more highlight on. This one is really smooth. It glides on highlight, like especially like down the nose and between that because it's so skinny very easily. And you can also use it for under your eyes if you prefer to use it for that. And you already have like your ride or die highlighting brush. And that was the M501 by Morphe. And then the next one by Morphe is M4401. And if you can see this one right here, I'm not really sure. I know it's dirty because I just used it. But um, what it is is more like a tapered, stiffer version of like the Sigma E25, how it fits right into your eye. and like. So this one right here is, if you can see it, it's more tapered at the end. It's going to be a little bit stiffer. But it's also really fluffy and like really easy to get into the crease and blend out any type of eyeshadow that you have in there. You can be really precise with it, but also very, very blendable brush. Okay, this next one is the M459. I looked at Jaclyn Hill's like favorite Morphe brushes video because I've never gotten in anything at all from Morphe. And I like want to so bad. I want to so bad, but you know, got to do what you got. Priorities, right? So anyways, this is an M459, and it looks like this. Technically, this is supposed to be a contour brush, so I guess if you wanted, like, that intense of a contour, personally, on me, I'd rather, like, do up my eyes or something, and then, you know, I like, like, dewy and highlighted things, and I just kind of like bronzy skin. I don't like, you know, chiseled out contour very much, but if you wanted to, what you can do is take this and use, like, a setting powder, and just go over it like this and pull it down and what that is going to do is you can just you know bring that with you throughout the day if you have like you know a translucent setting powder compact or whatever and it sharpens up that bronzer that contour or whatever because you don't want it to you know sometimes it gets patchy it will come down your face nobody likes that look at all so this definitely helps with that and that's what Jaclyn Hill uses it for so I was like I must use it and it's actually good for that. So, 
Yay, that was a M459. Okay, the last one I'm gonna show you guys is the E34. And so this is from their Elite Collection. And these, I got two, I think I got two Elite Collection brushes and the other one's just like a big tapered brush. And this one is more like, you know, just like a regular powder face brush type thing. Um, I use it for bronzer most of the time, you know, because it's really soft and it will get in all those spots that you want to be like perfectly bronzed. Sometimes I'll use it for blush. If I did more of like a contoured look, then I'll just, you know, pat over like my blush with it. But I'm not wearing any blush today, so I used it for bronzer. And that was the E34. And these, all of these brushes are so soft and high quality and the price point that Morphe gives is amazing in my opinion like you look at a brush and you're like okay well it's like 15 bucks like some of their like you know more expensive ones like in the elite collection and stuff and i'm like okay well that's not bad when you really think about it you can go into sephora and get like a makeup forever brush or a cover effects brush or you know whatever type of brush it is you know a tart brush for like 50 dollars and not bashing them because they do all have amazing brushes and for amazing brushes, you kind of have to have a high price point, you know, because you put more money into making the product. But these, in my opinion, are just, like, amazing. And they are high-quality brushes, high-quality brand for a lower price. I don't know if I've talked about Morphe before, but uh, I need to put my necklace up higher. Like, I didn't clip it good enough. But, um, I don't know. Like, I know I've said, like, oh, you know, I've heard Morphe's a great brand and things. I'm just talking about my brushes. And so, um, I've said things like that, but I've never actually, like, tried things from them. And so, I didn't want to be, like, false advertising, but, like, I know it's a good brand. I've heard so, like, nobody has anything really negative to say about it. And I see why now that I've purchased some brushes. Moving on. And I have two under eye setting powders while we're kind of on that topic. Um, this one is by Bare Minerals, and it says, the well-rested under eye. Bare Minerals Eye Brightener Broad Spectrum SPF 20. And most of you guys know that Bare Minerals is an amazing brand, especially for people starting out makeup. That was the first, you know, like, I guess, big girl brand that I got into. Like, I, it was Urban Decay for eyeshadow and then, like, Bare Minerals for, like, foundations and, like, their warmth powder. I just got, like, their little, like, kit thing, I think, in middle school. And it never, like, broke me out or anything. And I think the reason that I haven't been, you know, really using it, and I want to go back to it and just be like, oh, why did I stop? But I haven't been using it because my skin is so dry that, like, I don't know. I just feel like I, just, I need, like, a liquid foundation. I need, like, a hydrating liquid foundation. I know they make one, but I haven't tried it. I think my sister uses it, and she, she has dry skin, but... The girl thinks she has oily skin. She uses all these matte foundations, and I'm just like, stop. Anyways, um, this is just like a under eye brightener. I have it on right now, and I really like this. It's not. It has more of like a color to it instead of being translucent. If you can see that it has a color to it, I know it's not the best lighting, but um, I really like it. I like how it has like you know how Bare Reynolds has those little things in here where you can turn it and it doesn't, you know, it keeps too much product from coming out. Brightening powder, I know everyone's probably heard about this, so I don't really wanna go into much detail. This is a little one because I really wanted to pick up the translucent powder so bad. That is like my top, what, you know, how you always have, like what you want next. And so that that is what I want next is the translucent powder. It's just so big and I see like the point of it being so big because it is so pricey you want to get more for your money and no one goes through like a giant thing of translucent powder so in the long run it is worth the money in my opinion from what i've heard about it and from trying the this little one out this is the brightening powder though so this more comes off as like a white cast instead of a translucent cast that's the only problem i have with this is you just have to be really careful because if you put it on too much especially i would say if you were like deeper in skin tone because I'm pretty pale so it's not that noticeable on me. Um, it definitely brightens up your under eyes really well but it's not something that you could like put all over your face because it, it gives off like a big white cast in my opinion. You have to be just careful with how much you use but it does keep your concealer in place and both of these under eye setting powders are ride or die for, amazing, doesn't crease, 
keeps it in place. I have dry skin. I have dry skin everywhere under my eyes, things like that. And so this definitely helps to keep it not from creasing. I'm sorry. I'm thirsty. Anyways, can scotch tape be in like a <laughs> products I've been loving? It is though, because I've seen so many people on YouTube use this to do like wings liner and like eyeshadow, stuff like that. And I was always like, oh, that's such a good idea. But like my lazy butt never like got up and freaking got it and used it. And so I've been like winged liner is like the one thing I'm not that good at. Like I need practice on it. And so lately I've been practicing. I'm wearing it now. I don't know if it, I feel like it looked turned out pretty good, but um, it's just a little bit thick, but went with it. Just go with it. Anyways, I've been using this to um, make them even because a lot of the times that's like what I have trouble with is like, you know, that like meme or whatever when like you do one eye and it looks perfect and then you do the other eye and you mess it up. So you're like, oh, I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker and I'm just going to make it a little bit longer to match the other one. And it just ends up looking crazy. So then you go back to the perfect eye, make it look crazy. and it, It's just awful like that. That's what that's what I was. No shame in that game because I understand that. And... So ever since I've been using this, it's just been a lot easier to keep my wings sharper and, you know, obviously go over it with concealer or go underneath it just to sharpen it up. And it helps me keep them even. So I really like this a lot. All right. I need to start, like, putting aside what I already talked about. I feel like I don't have that many products, but I ramble on a lot. So I'm going to try to, like, go through these a little bit faster. Alright, this is a Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. Use alone for the look of flawless skin or use bronzer and makeup for a perfect finish. I understand why they say you can use this alone because I guess if you didn't have anything you had to conceal or any blemishes or like that or redness in your skin, um, it will definitely like, you know, take your pores away and it has a color to it. I don't know if you can see that. It's like tinted. Once you rub it in, it kind of just goes with, you know your skin and it makes it like silky silky smooth so I really love this primer it's a, like a smoothing primer obviously primed and poreless and so what I'll do with this is I get a lot like of um big pores like right in here and like on my nose and things like that so what I'll do is I'll put this pretty much all over my face and then like over here I'll kind of use like this Becca illuminating primer I think I've already talked about this I'm not sure I'll use this on my cheekbones, you know, right in here, sometimes down my nose if it's like really dry, and then like on my chin, because this does give off a pretty glow, but I feel like it almost, like, this is why I use this together, because it almost like, it doesn't minimize my pores at all, like it doesn't like bring them out, but obviously if it's like an illuminating primer, like you would think it'd have a little bit of a pore minimizing in it because it's like illuminating your entire face. So, I don't know. I like to use these two together, and this is, like, my primer concoction. Just use it in the areas that I need to use it for. Because I'm high-maintenance like that. I'm just kidding. I'm not high-maintenance. Anyways. Um, let's see what I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about this until I try the other one. So, I can give you a better video on it. This is just a Kat Von D ink liner. I know you've got, you guys have seen this all over YouTube. Um, I'm still playing with it. I'm trying to work with it. I want to put it in this like ride or die makeup product video because, or like, it's not like, I don't know what to call this video. I'm really just going to be like, hi, this is my video. Anyways, um, I like it because of how black it is in the applicator tip. I'm just not good at putting on these type of liners. So that's why I need to practice more. And I think once I practice more with it and play around with it, I lost it for the longest time and just found it, like, deep in my makeup collection. And I feel bad because I accused my sisters. I was like, you took my new Kat Von D liner, and I know you did. And now I feel really bad because, like, they didn't take it. They do steal other makeup products of mine. Though. Anyways. um, I got mine in Trooper, the most popular one. And I really love Kat Von D. I've watched her videos. I really like her as a person. Like, the fact that she wants to give back and, like, I, I, I like to give back to people that don't have, you know, 
things that like we can easily take for granted you know what I mean and you know I'm not like a rich person but like I can you know I have everything that I need I have a house you know food shelter a place shower things like that and then these are just thing like this is like my hobby that I enjoy doing and so I liked that she had I didn't see it when it, I don't know if it had come out yet whenever I went and got this or else I would have gotten the other one it's the same exact eyeliner um but it, part of it I'm not sure the exact name so like I feel stupid talking about it because I feel rude but part of it goes back like for every eyeliner about like a dollar goes back to charity and I want to say it's like an animal funded charity which is which is really sweet and touches my heart so that's part of the reason why I love her and the other part is because she's so cool and she just gives like no fucks about what anyone thinks she's just like I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this and I'm just like you're cool you're packaging sick and can you just give me a tattoo please <laughs> anyways so I'm really liking that if you're good at felt tip liners I would say hands down go pick it up you're gonna like it if you need to work with it, it's going to be an investment because for me, I was like, do I really want to spend like, you know, 20 bucks or however much it was like on an eyeliner if I'm not sure that I'm going to be good at it. You know what I'm saying? But it really is the best one out there. So I figured if I was going to give it a try, then I want to try with something that like, if I fail, at least I tried with the best product. I'm such a loser. My boyfriend's editing this video for me. Well... He doesn't know who he is, but he is. And he's just going to laugh at me. And he puts my videos on, like, the TV sometimes. And just, like, is like, oh, is that your favorite product? Oh. But he has no room to talk because I was sad the other night. And he was such a trooper and he let me do his makeup. And I'm probably going to have to edit this out. But, um. He let me do his makeup, and, like, I made him look good. Like, he looked like Kim Kardashian. He had a wing. I'm better at doing a wing on other people than I am on myself. And smoky eye, and like, contour, and, like, highlight. Like, he, he looked bomb. And I took, like, some pictures of him, and he was just like, you can't send them to anyone. And, like, me being, like, the evil person that I am. I'm just kidding. I'm not evil. But the sneaky person that I am. I'm just, like, a goofball type of person. I um I sent it in his group chat to his friends and he they just gave him shit for like ever and then I feel bad but um anyways I definitely want to see if I could like film that or if he could like do my makeup like that's a video I want to I want to do soon <laughs> because it, it was really funny like he looked really good and I was like almost mad I was like why do you look prettier than me like why does that look better on you than it does for me but, um, yeah, so he's going to have to make an appearance sometime. Tony, are you listening? So these are lip liners that I'm moving around in my hands weirdly. And this is a NYX um, lip liner, and I grabbed the wrong one. I meant to grab 810 Natural. And it they I'll show you this one. This is, or no, I won't because it is not sharpened. But um, they they glide on really smooth, and I love the natural color because it is like everyone's lip color. Like it's beautiful. You can you know, put it all over your lips, and it still looks like you're wearing something, but not like you know, lipstick or anything crazy. Anyways, um, this is the Urban Decay Naked Two Glide On Pencil, and I want to show you this one. Let me try to do it on this hand. Okay, if you can see, that's the color right there, and I think that's just a beautiful color. And that I'm using my other hand, so don't laugh at me if I look like a retard drawing this on. But do you see how, like, smoothly that stuff glides on? See, this is why I couldn't do a makeup tutorial, because this is the same freaking thing, and this one looks darker. What the heck? Anyways. I really like Urban Decay's lip pencils, so, um, yeah. And I like their eyeliners, but lip pencils and eye pencils both are very creamy. I really like this shade, though. Which is naked too. Told you guys that. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, this does not even look like it's been used. I just wanted to talk because I'm not really sure. I'll show you the color. This is um the, I think it's called Raquel. And this is the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. And this is the color that it is. This is what it looks like. I mean, it's a really pretty color. 
I just think I need to be like a little bit more tanner to pull it off. But I have two of these now, and I love the packaging and how they just bloop, bloop, click together. That's awesome. And their NARS is my favorite, one of my favorite brands packaging wise. I mean, they come out with a lot of good stuff. And like, because I don't really like the in your face packaging. I really love Too Faced, so sometimes I kind of got to deal with it and Urban Decay. But um, this is just like really sleek, pretty, would look so pretty on a vanity and one of those little like lipstick things. And they're good, they stay on all day, they're really creamy. They have a lot of colors. I wanted to get like one of these like really bright reds from them, but I'm so, I'm such like a <clears throat> mauve purpley, like, like, um, what was I going to say? Like nude type of lipstick person. Like every time I go to do my makeup, I'm like, I'm going to do a simple eye and like then I'm going to do bold lips. And I, I just do like a dramatic eye and like nude lips and that's just me. Because I just don't feel like it looks going to be. But that's just my opinion. Alright, I have three palettes to talk to you guys about. And then I will be done with this video finally. It's like 30 minutes long. I don't understand how people talk about things in, in like 10 minutes. I was going to throw my palette, but I thought about it first. Alright, this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette. These are the colors. I want you guys to be able to see what it looks like, and it has a nice little mirror right here. I want you guys to be able to see what it looks like, because um, I know the lighting is not the best. This one's one of my favorites, Pink Champagne, Self Made, Sherbert, and I really like Buttery too. Those ones are my favorites. This one really stands out to me, and so does this green color. And I, I saw this video about how if you think about the colors in quads like this, because sometimes when you look at this palette, it can be kind of all over the place and you don't know, like, where to begin. Excuse my nails. If you think about it in quads, then it's a lot easier. Like, you know, like, if you go this way, if you want to go this way, you know, whichever way. It's a lot easier to put together, like, a like a little makeup thing if I were to use, like, you know, like, those four colors or, you know what I mean? These four colors right here. It's a lot easier to think of it like that. And... When you do that, you come up with a lot more looks. So it's very versatile as of like creative look wise, but you could also make some more simple looks. But see, when I reach for a palette, I really like the self-made palette though. It just has a little too much glittery eyeshadows. I like matte eyeshadows. I like creamy eyeshadows. Well, doesn't everyone? And I like eyeshadows that are, I'm, I'm, all, I'm a warm tone person. So, like, the amount of palettes that I have are, like, matte, warm tone, and, uh, like, no shimmer at all in none of them. And <laughs> just things like that. They're, they're just my palettes, man. I was going to say something else that was going to go with matte and warm tone, but I... Okay, so I just have two more palettes to talk to you guys about, and then I promise I will shut up. And a lipstick. This is by... Alright, this lipstick, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it since I just mentioned it. It's by Circa. It's one of the brands you can get at Walgreens. Walgreens has been coming out, like the drugstore has been coming out with a lot of um, new brands. Like I've seen like, oh, I don't remember, it starts with the new, like an N, with start to the new, it starts with an N, and it, that's at CVS, and so is MUA is at CVS. I like their brushes, but um, I just feel like they're like really expensive for the drugstore, like really expensive. And, yeah, so they come out with, like, a lot of just new, like, complete brands that I want to try out. So, anyways, this is by Circa, and I have a lip liner by them that I liked, so I was like, okay, I'm going to pick up a lipstick. And this is, like, so out of my comfort zone type of lipstick. I like purple. This is more of, like, a berry tone, I guess you could say, but it is, it is darker in the tube than when I apply it on my hand. I'm not sure how it would apply to the lips. I think I've, I've worn it a couple times, and I really, like, I really like it. It's just getting comfortable wearing those type of colors is really my only problem, personally, because there's me. And this is called Ella. And I think this is really, like, this black and gold packaging, and then you can see the color at the back, is really sleek and nice packaging for, like, a drugstore brand. I just washed it on my hand. It's this one right here. See, like, in the tube, it's definitely more of, like, a purpley color you know 
than it is, you know, with some berry undertones than it is on my hand. So this is more so what it looks like. And I think that it's really pretty. Okay, two palettes. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. And right now, this is my second favorite palette because of these are all right i always use the same shades when i get a palette and i don't know why i just find them and i love them and i use them a lot so i really like punk which is right here um i really like the packaging too like i know it's a little bulky but i, I like the circles and how it has like the circles on the front and it's gwen stefani so i have to get it um i like steady this is a, this is a pretty shimmer color um they have some really like the colors that are shimmery in this palette are the lighter pinker tones or bronzy tones um there's just one uh this called 1987 it's like a gold like really yellow gold tone it's more like an antique gold i thought it was yellow but when i swatched it it's more like an antique bronze gold so i like that actually they have danger randomly which is just like a blue uh sequiny blue um this pink one sequiny but i really like pop baby and steady these are all kind of like in the same color range warm um light glittery not really glittery you know how urban decay shadows like sometimes their single shadows can be very heavily glittered i like these because they just have like a little bit of glitter in them they're not like chunks of glitter on your eyelids and then the matte shades i really love anthem stark punk skimp and bath water that's more like a satin than a matte in zone stark okay those those these three right here this one and this one i need to hold it up a bit better these three are really beautiful and so is this one and they're very creamy and if you want to invest in a palette that has shimmers and mattes and a good color range i would pick this up because i'm really impressed with it i know it kind of has some mixed reviews but i really like it oh <sighs> i feel like there's be singing right here this is the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette, and it looks like this. It has a pretty mirror like this. And I, first of all, this packaging though. Second of all, when you turn it around, it tells you all the names, and it comes with even like a little like tip guide thing. And I, I just, I love her packaging so much. And these are all matte, creamy, warm, gorgeous shades that I am in love with. I really like this for under my eyes sometimes when I just wanna use something in the palette and I have to, you know, go through a loose powder. This is what I use. I use this in the crease a lot, but I use it to contour sometimes. Um, these three, or these two, and then this one are absolutely beautiful. Um, I like how they have a black and a white and this green, this green though, this green though. It's like a brown green. And you can't really tell, like, on my finger. I don't know why my camera keeps dying, and I don't know if even half of this stuff got in film, guys. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. The last thing I said was, this is a good investment. It was, like, $42 like, or something like that, $45. And I love it, was the last thing I said. And then my camera did this weird shut-off thing that it's done twice now. So on that note, I'm going to wash my hand and... Hopefully all of this got on video. Please subscribe to my channel. I am really trying. I know that I've been slacking lately. I also have an Instagram. It's Taylor Walker MUA, I want to say is what it is. I only have like three pictures up there, but I really want to get back into this and get back into YouTube videos and because I, I like collect makeup. So, I mean, nothing like Jaclyn Hill or Kathleen Lights. You know, they have a lot of makeup and like I'm jealous of them, but... You know, I am possibly moving soon. I'm not really sure on all of that stuff. But if I am, I definitely want to be able to have, like, a vanity. Because right now I just have, like, you know, makeup storage. And I have it sitting on, like, um, a wooden, like, this changing table that I have for my son. Which he doesn't use anymore. And so I just put all my makeup there. And it kind of fits perfectly. But there's, you know, I don't have, like, a vanity, and I really would enjoy one. I used to have, like, a desk, but it got moved to my sister's room, and I don't know why I'm still talking about this. 
anyways, I hope you guys are having a lovely day and please subscribe to my channel. I am going to try like to put out videos as much as you can or as much as my try to put out videos as much as you can guys. Okay. No, I'm trying to put out videos as much as I can. Also, um, I've had people comment like, you know, I'll follow you if you follow me, stuff like that. I'm all down for like, you know, checking out your channel. If I like what you post, you know, I'll follow you. I want you to do the same to me. Check out my channel if you don't like me or don't like, you know, the videos I post or whatever. Don't worry. You don't, you don't gotta follow me. You ain't gotta watch it. Don't worry about it. But if you do like me, you do like my videos and want to see a certain look, then I'll put that down in my book and I'll try to get that look out first. Right now, it might just be, like, some talking videos. I know I have to film, like, an Ipsy and Boxy charm as soon as I get those. And then after that, it's going to be more tutorials because, like, I really want to film tutorials. After I get the whole setup thing and everything. So, I love you guys, and I hope you're having a great day. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And most of you probably haven't already because, let's face it, I have, like, 20 subscribers. But it's fine. It's fine. I like to do this, and this brings me happiness, so whatever. Alright, peace out, yo.